So hello everyone. Um, episode 3 this week is going to be the T57 Heavy. Because I really still can't use all of those old recordings. So we're using a lot of recordings that are extremely recent, like the last couple days. Um, now that I'm well and actively playing. Um, I ground from the T37 to the 57 Heavy while I've been sick. So there's a lot of replays I have from those lines. So I'm going to show you the 57 Heavy, and then I'm going to show you the 5041 tonight. So this is the T57 Heavy. I have it painted, and I named it Lula Bell. I really wish they had some better names for for tanks, because like Fireball really fits the T49. Um, Platoon with me are Silencer and Owned by the Devil. We are some of the best players in Harm. Uh, collectively, I think you're looking at the top uh, three of the top five players in harm at this point. Twenty-two second reload time, but you get four shots. And loaded. You have four shots, a shot every two seconds. It really is a beautiful burst machine. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily a very good DPM machine because you got a 22 second time where you're just helpless. But uh, it is a very good bursty thing. Speed up a bit. I kind of start to go over this hill because I'm like, ooh, batch hat in the open field. And we're not facing a bad team. These guys don't look all that bad on paper. There's the RU. And I zoom in. And right between the brick. I'm going to nail it right now. And the Batch Hat's like, oh, okay, I'll take that. And instead, the 1390 gets him from across the field. At this point, I'm thinking, uh, I'm going to post up against here and reload. Because I do not want to go up against somebody without a full clip. And I thought it would take them longer to get up here. And I'm spotted. And I'm like, uh, okay. What sees me? IS-4. There's Artie. I'm not quite sure if I'm already safe. Let's get behind this building completely. Alright. M103, this deep in our line? Uh, something's got to be done about you. This hyper aggressive M103 from Badger. I'm not quite sure what he was thinking. Maybe he was thinking we don't have that many heavies. I can come in here and do something. And I come up behind him and just rail. Two. Fix my ammo rack. Three. Dead. And reloading. <clears throat> and make sure to get as close to this building as possible to prevent Artie from hitting me. And then I think about my next target and I go, uh, IS-8? I'm already loading my uh, first shell, and here it comes. And so this IS-8 is posted in such a way that he's exposed to me. One, two, three, eight shell from him, four, I've got 3,100 damage already. Like I said, little monster of a tank. And then the 57 Heavy, the blue 57 Heavy, has just wasted his entire clip on whiffing. And that IS-4 is looking pretty untouched. So I think, I'm going to get me some IS-4. I drive up, and nothing's looking at me. Nothing's really going to stop me. So, okay. Lock target. One. Two. Three. Four. And I only actually got three. The other 57 Henry was the one that dealt the rest. And so owned by the devil's like telling me on TeamSpeak right now, I'm going to get the high caliber. I'm like, what do you mean? Because he's pretty convinced he's going to get it as soon as he smacks this up. Uh... Wait for it. Wait for it. And T92 says... No SU-12254 for me. 
So I'm by the devil's completely convinced he's going to get the high caliber now. He tells me to go eat the T95. Okay, I'll go eat the T95. He looks tasty. And at first I aim the shot in and I'm like, and I don't think I can get a pen. But I say, okay, what the hell? Oh, okay. I got a surprise for Owned by the Devil. My, my Ukrainian friend there, I got the high caliber. And I got it by the skin of my teeth. <laughs> Compared to his C-92 just wailing on people. Um, sadly, uh, Silencer's Batch had to not do all that well. He got nailed by Artie very early on. Which one was it? I think it was... Uh, yeah, the GWE and T-92 both hit him and they rushed in and finished him off. But in the meantime, this excellent machine... By the way, 5200 damage isn't even mastery! It's... Uh, that, that boggles my mind what people are doing in this machine. Um, so that's the end of the first T-54 replay. I have a second one in which I'm solo and it's going to get even more complicated. And welcome back for the uh, second T-54 replay. I know, there's not really a, an episode break right now for these anymore. Ha! Better recording software. Um, in the meantime, so we have... Teams aren't are about evenly matched. 5% extra chance towards one team is not an exceptional chance for victory. And like the previous match, I'm using standard ammunition for most of this match. I actually run out of standard ammunition. Because <laughs> I, I don't really think I'll need more than five clips of, of AP rounds. So let's get forward to the action. I love you, Alucard. The folk takes a shot at the uh, at the WZ, and I start rolling up the cell, and I take a look, and he's behind a rock. Can't get him. Still behind a rock. Can't get him. Okay, screw it. I need to get into position. T-71. And I think, do you really have any support? Because if you don't, this is going to suck. And Artie could take me out right now and change the outcome of this match. And it doesn't. I missed my first shot. Second shot hits. Third shot. Actually, I think I bounced my first shot off of T-71. And I tell myself, uh, reload. Now what to do for 20 seconds? Let's see. Find my next target. And this is really what this tank does very well. It isolates out a single target and just beats it senseless. And then runs away and hides. I start backing up and I'm like, uh, I don't think I'm actually going to get over this rock. And I'm not. That, that little rise is enough to keep me from being able to shoot at the E5. But there's a nice set of grove of trees over here I can use. And I pull up, and I zoom in, bounce, and I think I'm great. Hit, track, second hit, third hit, E100 finishes the work. And I'm thinking, I don't want to fight another autoloader head on, because with an autoloader, you do not want to fight another autoloader. It is just a slugfest in which nobody wins. So I'm driving across the lake. And this 704. This bulldog backs up, makes me kind of have to let him back out. 704 gets hit by the U100 and the E75. Turns fire, and then I go. Oh, by the way, good night. One, two, 
and reload time and I'm gonna go help north because here comes that rush of mediums <clears throat> so I'm reloading my clip as I get up here because I know I'm gonna need every single shot I can muster there's also an unspotted enemy E-75 I look back to see if I can help with the folk nope no shots so at a certain point I just go okay fine let's deal with all this stuff I missed my first shot I'm locked on target second shot hits third shot finishes I reload I cycle back here with the waffle and then I realize we're both reloading shit if these mediums come and get us we are so boned and then I'm like oh wait I got a few more seconds time to move up you tend to, when you know it's safe to move up you tend to move up while you're loading because nobody's gonna see you coming waffle hits him once and then I come up and one he's tracked two he's dead Batch head, I missed once. Hit tw the second time. I realize I'm short on shells. I have to switch to my heat rounds. I've got 22 seconds before I can help you, Waffle. I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. And sure enough, these two are just going to wail him away. Batch hat is smart enough to stay, use the Waffle for cover. I stay locked onto the Batch hat. I see him going around, I back up. One. Two. E75 coming at me. I lock on. One. Two. I use my big repair kit. I stay locked with E75. I'm reloading. And then I go, I've got nowhere to go. Crap. Panther comes up. I'm tracked. E-75 rams me, then he shoots me in the lower hull from that angle, and just doesn't go in. I get him through the top of the turret, I bounce his gun, I track him, somebody else finishes him, and I'm just like, no top gun. And that's the end of that battle, 6,500 damage, and 5 kills. That's the mastery badge. And hands down, I hate to say it, but me and the Waffle carried the team. Hands down. The rest of our teammates simply could not get into position to get their shots off. Um, three of my shots bounced, which yes, I did in fact bounce the little T-71 by some miracle. Um, and three of them missed. But this thing is just so devastatingly destructive. And I got the high caliber again. I almost got the top gun but I will take the mastery badge that this one comes with. And uh, total experience that I get to convert for other vehicles later. And that is going to be it for the T-57 Heavy. Get ready for its precessor, the 54E1.